This is Brent of the Brook Bush Institute, and in this video, we're going to go over two more special tests for ankle joint stability. They're called the Taylor Tilt Tests. I'm going to have my friend Yvette come out, and she's going to help me demonstrate. Now, these tests help test the integrity of both our medial ligaments, being our deltoid ligaments, as well as our lateral ligaments, being the ATFL, CFL, and PTFL. And you actually don't need to memorize the, the names of those ligaments. What we are testing for is do we have good joint stability? Do we have integrity of these ligaments after something like an acute ankle sprain, right? Maybe if that was playing soccer and she stepped in a, a little pothole in the field and sprained her ankle, we need to make sure that she, her ligaments are okay, that we still have enough stability, that we think physical therapy is a good choice. I'm gonna go ahead and have a vet just move this so you guys can see the ankle. Now, these tests are fairly simple to do, and being tailored tilt tests, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna tilt her talus and see if her ligaments stop us. So I'm gonna grab her tibia and stabilize it. I'm gonna use the palm of my other hand and grab a bunch of calcaneus here, right? And I just put her calcaneus right between my thenarm and I here. I'm gonna get my forearms so that they're in the direction of the force. And I'm just gonna kinda like take up all the slack into eversion in this case. I'm, I'm tilting her, her talus into eversion. I'm just gonna give it like a little thrust, almost like I'm doing like a joint mobilization. If her ligaments stop me, any pain? There's no pain, then I know that these ligaments are doing okay, in this case her deltoid ligaments. For her lateral ligaments, I'm just gonna switch my hand position. So I'm gonna stabilize my tibia, I'm gonna grab a handful of calcaneus, I'm gonna take up all the inversion, right? and then just kinda give a little thrust, not really like a, a high velocity thrust, more like I'm doing like a joint mobilization, and just make sure that her lateral ligaments actually stop me from going any further. If I didn't know whether I was feeling normal or abnormal motion, of course I could compare it to her other ankle, assuming that she had one affected side and hadn't sprained both ankles in the, in the same outing. Right, so again, grab the tibia, handful of calcaneus, get my, my forearms up, grab all the inversion, take all the slack out, and then I'm just gonna kinda mobilize a little bit. And, and they stop me. Notice guys, I have, not, not neutral position, I don't have zero degrees of dorsiflexion, but she's not pulled all the way into plantar flexion. I'm just kind of in that nice neutral position. Same thing, and go the other way, grab some tibia, grab some calcaneus, take up all the slack and eversion, and then give her some little thrusts like I'm doing a joint mobilization. And if those ligaments stop me, then I know she has good integrity. And of course, we can tell by her face that that wasn't painful either. Again, these aren't tests for like concordant science. These aren't pain propagation tests like an impingement test. An impingement test we might come back to over and over and over again as we try to treat and address an issue and of course make the patient better. These tests are more about clearing the patient for physical therapy. If she had a positive Taylor Tilt test, and let's say also a positive anterior drawer test, which I went over in a previous video, and I'm just seeing massive amounts of instability. I might refer her out right away. Let's go get an MRI, maybe talk to a surgeon, right? You lose too much of your ligamentous stability around the ankle, and sometimes people don't get better without surgical intervention. At the very least, if I thought I had a positive anterior drawer, a positive Taylor tilt test, and then after two or three sessions I was seeing no improvement, I would definitely refer out then from physical therapy. All right guys, so there you guys have it. Medial and lateral Taylor tilt tests. Also find those videos on the anterior drawer test and the sub Taylor joint stability test. And you guys can kind of cluster these together as your quick test if somebody comes in with an acute ankle injury. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.